Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. Here we have x plus y plus z equal to 7, x square plus y square plus z square equal to 17, x, y, z equal to 12. We have to find out all ordered pair x, y, z belongs to real number. So let's get started by writing equation numbers first. And then I will be writing one algebraic identity which is very very powerful x plus y plus z whole square. This whole square is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. Now I have to substitute the values equation 1 and equation 2 from both sides. See x plus y plus z is 7. So I will be writing 7 square. Here I can put equation 2. So value will be 17 plus 2 times as it is xy plus yz plus zx. 49 minus 17 equal to 2 times xy plus yz plus zx. So this is 32. And if I will divide with 2, so I will be writing straight away xy plus yz plus zx and this value I can write 16. Now I will frame or I will write one new system of equation. You can see x plus y plus z will be there. It is 7. Then I will be writing xy plus yz plus zx which I will write 16. Just calculate it x y z equal to 12. Let me call 4, 5 and 6. Few conclusions I will conclude from here. Point number 1. This is sum of roots. Any cubic equation whose roots are x y z then it is sum of roots. Second equation means equation number 5. It is sum of roots taken two at a time, two at a time and third equation that means equation number 6 x y z equal to 12 it is product of roots. Now I will frame one cubic equation whose roots are x y z and sum of roots sum of roots taken at a time taken two at a time and product of roots are 7, 16 and 12 respectively. Let's frame it first. And then we have to solve it. So I can write, suppose variable is a, so I can write a cube. Now sum of roots, it was 7. So I need to write minus 7a square as it is minus b over a formula. Then I will be writing 16a, then product of roots as per formula minus d over a. So I will be writing minus 12 equal to 0. Now I will use remainder theorem this time. To find out our roots, I will use remainder theorem. So for that also we need to know what is base solution or base root. So let me begin with a equal to 1. It is not satisfying. Minus 1 not satisfying. But before that you should know what are eligible factors. So plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6 and plus minus 12. Leading coefficient because it is 1 over there so plus minus 1. Once we will take ratio then possible eligible solutions would be plus minus 1 to plus minus 12. Let's consider a equal to 1. 1 minus 7 plus 16 minus 12. 17 minus 19. No it is not equal to 0. a equal to negative 1 minus 1, minus 7, minus 16, minus 12. All numbers are negative, cannot be possible, 0. Now I will consider a equal to 2. See what will happen. If I will be putting a equal to 2, 8 minus 28 plus 32 minus 12. Is it true? 40 minus 2, 40. Yes, it is true. That means a equal to 2 is our base solution or 
a minus 2 is a factor. Why I am writing factor? Because I am going to use remainder theorem. This time I will be using remainder theorem. So let's begin with cubic equation. I will write our degree of the equation a cube. So a is square and the third means the third degree, the third power I will replace with a minus 2, which is our factor. Now a square times a, a cube is there, minus 2 a square is extra. So I need to compensate is by writing over there 2 a square. Minus 7 a square plus 16 a minus 12 equal to 0. Same way. Here I will be writing it is minus 5a square plus 16a minus 12 equal to 0. This term is as it is. Now minus 5a square I can write minus 5a in bracket I will write a minus 2 same practice. So minus 5a square is there plus 10a. So I have to compensate this plus 10a by writing over there minus 10 plus 16a minus 12 equal to 0. Now I will be writing here 16a minus 10a, 6a. So 6a minus 12 equal to 0. Once you will take 6 common, a minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can easily see a minus 2 is overall common. Let me write the complete equation. a square a minus 2. Then we are having minus 5a a minus 2. And then we are having plus sign only. Rest is 6 times a minus 2 equal to 0. Now let us take a minus 2 overall common. So it would be a square minus 5a plus 6. So I will write here a minus 2 a square minus 5a plus 6 equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0. So either a minus 2 equal to 0 or this quadratic equation a square minus 5a plus 6 should be 0. Once a is a minus 2 is 0, that means a is equal to 2. So I will write a is equal to 2. And for this quadratic equation, I will split this minus 5a into minus 2a minus 3a plus 6 equal to 0. Take a common a minus 2. Take minus 3 common. a minus 2 equal to 0. a minus 2 times a minus 3. Now what is a? a is root of our cubic equation. There are three roots because equation was cubic. So ultimately I can write a is equal to 2, 2 and 3. And roots were in terms of x, y, z. So let us write our final answer in terms of ordered pairs. I will write x, y, z. This must be equal to 2, 2, 3. This is our first combination. Second combination 2, 3, 2. And third combination we can write or ordered pair we can write. 3, 2 and 2. So these pairs are our final answer. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.